president of the Telecommunic Association of Telecommunications Company of Nigeria, uh, Ulushola Teniola, now joins me live via Skype from Abuja to discuss this. It's great to have you join us on the show, uh, Mr. Ulushola. Good afternoon to you and your viewers. Let's start with this. Um, now this is coming, 7.5. I just, I just sent a text. And I got the message, I am paying 410 Naira. It used to be 4 Naira, but now it's 4 Naira 10 Kobo. How did this come to you and uh, how would you react to this? You know that uh, we always want to have cheaper, affordable voice and data services rendered to consumers. Uh, as the Association of Telecommunication Companies of Nigeria, we're also subscribers. But it's inevitable that we've done over the while since the recession that happened in 2016 that government is currently struggling to balance its budget, there's a deficit. Uh, the alternatives were to introduce a sector-specific tax, which is the communication services tax that was uh, being pushed by Senator Ondumi for 9%, or an overall tax increase on VAT of 50% from 5% to 7.5%. This has now been adopted by government. So therefore, from the 1st of, of February, all calls, internet calls, any data services, SMS, text, will now have a charge of 7.5% on the calls, as opposed to 5% that, that it was before the 1st of February. It is very important to note that the objective for the telecoms industry is that we will eventually have uh, cheaper calls. But let me share some statistics. Um, I also had the A4, uh, that's the Alliance for Affordable Internet, as the Nigerian coordinator. And recent statistics have suggested that, on average, we have Nigerians who are able to afford one gigabyte of data per month for around 2% or less than 2% of the monthly wage. The issue really is that we have a lot of Nigerians that are below the poverty line, and recent estimates suggest 90 million Nigerians. So these are Nigerians who can't afford more than $2 per day because they're not earning that amount. So the next challenge for the industry is to see how we can further reduce the cost of data, the cost of calls, so that those Nigerians below the poverty line can also make calls and deem it affordable for them to carry their day-to-day -day lives. Now, I want to see how yeah. this will come to Nigerians. They've already been complaining about purchasing power and the effect this will have on travel, travel fares and all that kind of fares. How do you see Nigerians taking this increase? I think the recent um, minimum wage that was granted by the federal government uh, to allow the state governors to also uh, pay a minimum wage of 30,000 naira per month. Yes, in one hand, it has assisted those that were at the bottom of the pyramid, but then on the other hand, we have this increase. It's always going to be a balancing act, and the balancing act is essentially this. How do we fund a government that has a large recurring expenditure versus capital expenditure that is required. Simply is to make the environment more attractive for private sector to lead the investments needed for the infrastructure gap that we have. So government itself is pressured to actually fund this infrastructure. However, I guess, and I really truly believe that with the increases across the board, as you've indicated, transport, food, or certain items anyway that are uh, for food and entertainment, that the short-term pains will be the medium to long-term gains. And that's essentially building a digital economy for the future for those that are below 34 years old. And that represents about 88 million or 85 million Nigerians. So it's taking the pains now but hoping that in the future, things will get much better. Hmm. Very mm. Before I let you go, now let's now look, about, look at service delivery, quality of service, both for data and for calls and all of that. How well are we doing if you're to assess our service providers? 
When you look at the reality, um, and I take you back to 2001 when the industry was deregulated, we were only having 500,000 fixed line subscribers in the country. Since the advent of the GSM and the licensing and the billions of dollars that have been put into the economy, we are now sitting on around 175 million to 180 million subscribers. That's a colossal amount. And that's been based on lack of power. Every base station located on the tower is utilizing and dependent on diesel powered generators. This is almost 20 years that the industry has been deregulated. And we've had 24 by seven operations, 365 days in a year. We have also faced an industry on warranted destruction of infrastructure, fiber cuts on a daily basis, towers being shut down, and there's been obviously indiscriminate shutdown by sectors of governments that are seeking additional revenue. And then we've got to deal with the multiple of, of taxes. Last count is 39. And if this CST tax comes through, which we are fighting furiously, which is still, which has had its first reading, is going through its second reading in the National Assembly, then you might have calls that are being charged at 16.5%, which is totally exorbitant as a tax. So we have to continuously work with government, collaborate as stakeholders to ensure that the cost of doing business in Nigeria is lessened, the cost of making a call, going on the internet, onto the internet and doing pro productive work in the new digital economy is far reduced. So what we are advocating as ATCON is to ensure that we have a collaborative discussion with government, with the private sector, to ensure that we are going in the same direction. Yes, we know that government requires the funds necessary to do governance, but it has to be balanced with the ease of doing business. Hmm. Until we get that true ease of doing business, it's going to be very unlikely that the price of calls and data will reduce. In fact, it might go the other way. And that's not what we want to do because we built an industry that is worldwide recognized, the fastest growing telecoms industry in Africa and the biggest market. And we want to ensure that not only the rich, the average middle class, but the poor can also benefit from this growth. Thank you. All right, then, Mr. Olushala Teniola, thank you very much, President of Association of Telecommunications Company of Nigeria. Thank you so much for sparing your time. Please, we'll let you go back to your meeting. Thank you so much.